Morndorf, good beer go hand in hand. Look at that thing. All right, here's some of the cedar fence pickets that we're going to be using to make our sliding barn door. And the key is to be able to get this nice and smooth with planer. So you can run your hand up and down this and not get any splinters. So over here, you don't want to do that. That's rough cedar. So we're going to plane both sides of those. Here we are planing the rough cedar pickets. We do both sides each time, and it's helpful to have another person with you to throw the lumber back to you, so you have to walk around and get every board every time. So if you follow my channel, you know I built my Murphy bed table saw to certain specifications. And I built it so I could have eight feet of room behind the table saw to feed eight piece, eight feet lumber into the saw on a rare occasion that I would actually need to cut something eight feet long. This is an eight foot cut. So let me show you what we do. So here we are. Here's this fence picket we're going to cut. I've got to back it all the way up to here to fit it in front of the saw blade. So I had to move my one shelf over just enough to give me some room so we can make this cut. So here we are cutting the edges of these pickets. So we cut both sides of it to make sure that we can get it as straight as possible. So these are the rough dimensions of the barn door I'm going to build. So I've got my clamp down here and I'm going to cut off this one section here to make the height. It's already pre-cut. I had it pre-cut at Lowe's before I brought it home so it's already 36 inches wide. So with that, let's get the cutting. So I've picked out the wood and have lined it up on top of the piece of plywood. You can see this has a little bit of split, so that'll be our overcut there. So it's overcut by an inch on this side here, and that is about half a plank overhang there. So I have a clamp kind of keeping them tight in here. So I'm going to use these liquid nails to attach it to the piece of plywood. Okay, so I'll put my dad's glue down here. So I have about four minutes, so i got to move fast. Okay, after having uh, the boards in, I put the glue on. And I've come in and put a roll of uh, pins down here. You can see that's going to be covered over by a decorative piece or either maybe even sawed off after the rough cut. We've got our clamp holding that down. And then we have a roll of brad nails down here as well. So now all we do is trim off our excess on the end and we'll have one side done. Okay, so I flipped over the door and now I'm just going to trim off the edges of the excess here. So I have my straight edge clamped at four inches for spacing on my saw. that easy. So I have the cedar on both sides and they have the end cut and that's trimmed flush. So now we got to cut this edge and we have to cut this edge. So it's oversized so I'm gonna make this cut first and then I'm gonna cut the other one to 34 inches. So here we are we got a regular circular saw out needed something with a little bit more depth so first I cut one edge, you get it smooth, we get it all the way through the cut, and then after that we'll cut the other end. So we cut the end, it's a pretty easy cut after you clamp it all off. And then I flip over the table and I proceed to cut the last remaining sides. So all sides and ends are square. So we have our door all sanded. We're getting ready to put on our mounting plates. So these are the pieces that will go on here for the hangers for the roller bar track. So I've got one of them cut here. So we just measured them as per the instructions. And now we're just gonna drill a hole straight through 
and I have put another piece of board out here to prevent tear out on the back side. So let's see if we can get this one right centered. So we know this will sit on here, be bolted through, actually goes like that, and we're getting close. So the next step is to screw the bolts through the door. It's very helpful to have a bolt or screw attachment for your drill to drill it in quickly. Attach the frame and we're ready to go to the next step. So this is half the bar that will go on the wall to mount it and it's about oh 10 inches too long so we have to cut off five inches so i elected to do five inches off each end that way i could use the holes i wouldn't have to re-drill the holes in that so let's get this cut There we go. Never pick up the end you just cut. It's too hot. The other side's cool. Got a little sharp little burrs on that. We just need to put a little file on it. Get those rid of those. We'll be ready to go. All right, so here we are now. We've transported the door over to Eric's house where we're gonna install the door. So now we gotta unload it. Here we are putting up a mounting board. The rail will be mounted on top of this board, but to ensure that we were into the studs, we screwed this mounting board into the studs first, drilled pilot holes for the mounting rail, and then screwed the rail into this board. This worked out much better. After the bracing bar, we installed the mounting track and checked for level. Next is the American Ninja Woodworkers test for strength, kind of like a salmon ladder. Notice the look of confidence on my daughter's face. Now we have the door hung, we add the decorative pieces, so we add a piece at the top, middle, and bottom, and then we add the traditional Z-shaped pattern to get, make it look like it's supporting the door. All of this is decorative, but that's part of the fun. Okay, so I have this decorative piece uh, to the edge here. I got it level, marked off. Now we're just going to shoot some brad nails in it. So to mark this straight edge, you get these angles right the first time. I clamp the board on top of that. And I put my ruler straight edge over here. And then I just come along and just score the board right here. So I know that that's the perfect mark and that'll be the right angle. And I cut that and do the same at the bottom. The most interesting barn door in this house just completed. So if you liked our video on building the barn door, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more of our construction videos, be sure and subscribe down below. And as usual, come back and see us real soon. Salute.